The problem of spinning was one of the earliest troubles to be investigated by aerodynamicists of the Royal Aircraft Establishment, and quite a lot of research went into finding the reason why certain machines were more inclined to this condition than others, discovering ways and means to lessen the tendency, and the easiest way to recover from it. These early experiments in 1925 were carried out in a balloon shed. The models were released and their behaviour recorded by cine cameras. The models had a free fall of about 100 feet. This method had its limitations and a vertical wind tunnel was considered. This miniature tunnel proved that the idea was practical and a larger tunnel was constructed in 1931. It was 12 feet in diameter, 30 feet in length and had an airspeed of 30 feet per second. In this, the aircraft could be studied and recorded for longer periods. The cine records provided the means of assessing the rate of rotation and angle of spin. With this Gamecock undergoing spinning tests, it was found that by raising the tailplane, a speedier recovery from a spin was effected. During the spinning experiment, the controls could be changed at a predetermined instant by means of a dash pot. These recovery experiments show the dash pot in action. The controls are reversed when the flag is released. Recovery from a flat spin is a difficult and slow business. With the raised tailplane, the spin is steeper and the recovery rate faster, as can be seen. An early aeroplane called the Hill Pterodactyl. This machine, having dispensed with the customary tailplane, was of a revolutionary nature, and we shall see it again. An aeroplane of the 1950s. The tunnel was in use till 1957. A new departure in spinning experiments has been carried out with a fifth scale javelin aircraft. The model is suspended from a balloon at 3,000 feet, rotated and then released. In this case, cameras fitted with 36 and 50 inch lenses were necessary to obtain a picture large enough to be seen and measured accurately. These give the camera operator less than one and a half degrees field of view and make the tracking of this fast moving aircraft very difficult. Again, the controls are automatically changed at a predetermined time to effect recovery from the spin. When recovery is complete, a parachute is released which prevents damage on landing. These pictures, taken from the balloon with a normal speed camera, give some idea of the true speed of the model and the consequent difficulty of following it and obtaining a reasonably steady picture with the ground cameras.